This is a Hisense dishwasher. It's a 47 decibel model. And I am not an appliance reviewer by any means, but I uploaded a video that showed to be pretty popular. Well, 120 views or so I think is pretty good for a dishwasher. And in that video I was showing people how to get rid of the delay, time delay start, which was this. Whenever you turn it on, it says 140, one hour, 40 minutes, and you push it in, nothing happens. So in that video, I was showing people how to get rid of that delay start, whereby just hold down on whatever mode you want, and when it starts blinking, push it in. Now, do you hear the dishwasher now start? So in that video, this is not really a reversal, but I wanted to show the other side. Maybe you were looking at this dishwasher thinking, well, what is the value of, a, of the delay time or the start delay? And this is what I came to find out the other day. A good example would be if you wanted to run dishes at night, for example, especially since this dishwasher is really quiet. Or maybe you have a louder dishwasher or you have a very sensitive hearing and you can still hear this quiet dishwasher anyway. And you want to run it without interrupting yourself. So if you go to bed at 10 o'clock, and you want it to run this dishwasher like at five so that by the time you get up and ready, you can just take out the dishes. Uh, that's when you could use a timer. The other scenario that I think the timer would, the delay would be pretty good would be if, okay, so it happens here. It happened here. If, you know, well, take showers at night and if someone took a very long shower, you know, you basically run out of water when you run a run out of hot water. And I want my dishes to run with hot water, right? So I don't want to run it immediately. But then I don't want to run the dishwashers, the dishwasher while I'm also taking a shower. So I don't want us to fight. So I think in that scenario, you can do it because I know generally in this hour in this house, whenever we run out of hot water within an hour or so, we usually have regained the temperature. So that would be a pretty good example as to when to use the delay timer. But again, I'll use that example like you gotta be out of the house at seven in the morning and this dishwasher takes about, it's less than two hours for sure to wash with a normal cycle. And so what I do is while going to bed, I don't want it to, you know, I don't want it to run while I'm sleeping, but I can run it in the morning whenever I'm about to wake up or you know, it just depends on that scenario. Basically, you want to control when it runs. That's when you come in, and again, going to bed at 10 a.m., 10 p.m., sorry, and you want the dishwasher to start at 5 in the morning. So just come here and go for 7 hours. And then, basically, shut it and... Okay, let's stop again. Okay, something's going on. I'll figure it out. But yeah, shut it and go go on go on your way and oh yeah, that's what's going on. <laughs> Utensils. So yeah, shut it and seven hours later, magic is gonna happen. That is what is supposed to happen. I, as I said, personally, it I just run it uh, consecutively. I run it whenever I need to. If I want to run it right now, I just go ahead and run it because it is really quiet and it does not really interrupt life in any way. Plus, it doesn't really consume that much water. So it's just a video thought I might make in case someone is coming to my channel looking for high sense dishwasher reviews. Well, I suppose this is what growing up is all about, huh? I never knew I'd make so many videos about a dishwasher and find it exciting. Ha, 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 ha.